two Rieslings to talk about today. Um, the first one is from Germany. It's Dr. Lozen's Erziger Wurzgarten Riesling Cabinet 2007. Um, so this is a Riesling cabinet, um, which means it's the, 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 dr the drier end of the German sweet wine spectrum. Um, and it's low in alcohol. This is just 7.5% um, alcohol. Um, and it's a remarkable wine. It's got a beautiful nose. It's kind of a bit limey. There's a bit of honey there. It smells quite sweet. And um, there's, a, there's a delicacy to it that's, that's hard to put into words, but it it's really, really smells um, very fresh, very bright. That's nice. Um, in the mouth, it's quite um, it's quite bright. There's some sweetness there, but it's not overly sweet. And the sweetness that's there is countered really nicely by a, a nervy core of acidity. It's really fresh, and the acidity and sweetness work in balance, so that so that there's a a kind of a, a tension there, um, where the sweetness is kind of offset by the acidity in such a way that a high acid white like this tastes less sweet than it really is and that gives a nice rounded character to the, the wine um, so I think it's really tasty perfect for um, a day like today, a nice summer's day um, a great lunchtime wine as well with low alcohol You're good to take that on the picnic but you can sip it casually as well, it doesn't have to be um, drunk with food. The second Riesling I'm going to drink is um, it's from Australia and it's from the Clare Valley. And it's the Napstein um, 2007 Ackland Vineyard Riesling. Now, Riesling in Australia is quite different to uh, Riesling in Germany. There's some, fam there's some sim similarities, and the similarities. Here is in the sort of limey character, but uh, but whereas this is zingy and bright with very low alcohol, this is a bit bolder. Um, I think the alcohol in this is 13%, so it's quite different. And if you look at the colour, you see the Australian one is, is a lot darker than the the um, German one. It's got a really nice nose. I'm getting some lime here, but also a, a little subtle toasty sort of character. It's not from oak. This hasn't seen any oak at all, um, but it, it's it's kind of um, a kind of richer um, wine. And on the palate, it's much fuller than the German wine. In fact, if you're tasting this on its own without tasting it alongside the the, the cabinet from the Moselle you'd find this was quite a fresh, bright, delicate sort of wine. But compared with this sort of most delicate of all wines, um, this seems quite a bit heavier. It's savoury as well, and it's dry. There's, there's no residual sugar in this, or very little. This would be a great food wine. Um, it's got good acidity. The flavours are quite fresh bright um, and I think this would go well with with all sorts of food even even quite strongly flavored sort of Pacific Rim fusion cuisine would um, would be matched quite nicely by this wine so two very different styles of Riesling um, but I guess with a family similarity um, in terms of preference um, which one I prefer would depend on the context really I think just for sipping now, I think this is this is the glass I'd choose to drink. But um, with with food, and particularly spicier or heavier food, this this would be my choice. Thanks for watching.